What's up, Lily Squad? It's your girl, Layla. I'm back again with another video. For you guys, if you haven't already checked the link description, it'll be down below. Make sure you subscribe to the video, like this video, and comment down below. So, right now, I'm going to do this hair review on the same company of hair that I had last time. And I'm actually going to make a wig, bleach the night, etc. So, yeah. Oops. Apparently, I don't need to have it. Hold on. Okay. I got the inches 24, 20, and it comes in this little package. It comes with a little mirror. 28. It's a little thin. It looks like it. It comes with these, whatever that is. I need the a closure and the shortest inch is 24. Twenty four closure. I think I got this in a twenty, and I'm actually gonna bleach this. I know that's why I know. Look a little nasty. Good. Okay. Uh uh. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna take it out and show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all actually the longest bleach. So I have had this hair before on most of the different occasions. I don't know if I'm gonna dye this hair or not. I know I am gonna bleach the knots and I might just bleach something. I don't know. I mean bleach a little bit of the hair and then yeah, etc. And I might dye it a different color. So this is the 28 inch. I've had this hair before again. So let's just see what it's talking about now. Okay. Okay. They're coming down with something. That's how long my 26 inch was, so I don't know. But it do look, it smells good. It looks good. So I don't know. We could be coming down with some. A little song. And guess what, guys? We have a measuring tape. So let's see. Twenty five. I don't know which one this is. Yeah, this goes by um what's my calls? So twenty five is what we got. Okay, now I'm finna show y'all everything else because I am finna make this into a week tutorial, so this the bundle. And it came with these and it came with a little postcard. Thank you, so just out the way. Um, this is my wig maker. I got this from my local beauty supply store. I like it because you see this thing helps tighten it up and makes it not move at all. And then if you want to make it move, boot and loosen it. Then you got the little thing and do that. And I have an actual, you know, dining table. Thank you. I'm gonna hook it too. So do this. I have my head. I'm actually going to pick the plastic bag over the head, I believe, because I will be bleaching this and dyeing it, and I don't want my hair to mess up. I have my dome cap. My own um, bleach. For, um, I got 30 developer. I usually don't go high in 30. I don't know why I just don't. And because I am supposed to be dyeing a person's hair as well. I got these colors. Huh. Wild cherry. Um, this was was the one from last time, and it's just water dye. So, and I got another wild cherry. I think I literally got the same colors. I literally got the same colors. Wow. But I'm pretty sure. I'm very pretty sure. I got an extra needle and thread. I have like 50 million needles, and each hair bag I have one. So, yeah. <clears throat> But I'm pretty positive that it might come out a little pink, so I don't know. That's why I got so many, just in case it did, just in case it don't. So stick that through there. Then right here, 
this one comes with a total of three needles in it. So right now I'm gonna start, I'm about to start the process of the bleaching. Okay. I honestly feel like the key to doing weaves and et cetera is having multiple needles because the more needles, the easier the process will go because if I'm done with one width, I can come back and go ahead and grab that needle and go to the second width. So yeah. I feel like that's a very great investment. So I'm just gonna move this over. I don't know. I'm a little skeptical. Sketch, if you want to see. So I'm gonna just throw the bundles on my bed. That's the dome cap that got my bed too. Okay. So we're pulling this out. I actually don't have to find some gloves and other stuff. So I mean and the plastic bag. And I will be needing it. So I'm gonna put everything literally on my bed. So hopefully I don't mess up nothing. I'm gonna move my camera a little bit so y'all can see me. I just dropped them so so right now I'm about to about to lay out my place is big. So let's just put it. Oh, we'll be back. Period. I forgot to put this in the video. You will need it in the fall. I don't know. I think it helps speed up the dyeing process. So, this, you know. Stay tuned for that. 
I did. Okay, and what you do with that? I'll be back. Do a timer for 20 minutes. We're gonna come back and check. Okay, so what's up guys? I'm back. Um I was pushing it down because I left something on it to see if it was gonna sink through, and as y'all see, it sort of started bleaching the hair. So what I'm about to currently go do is rinse it out. I will show y'all that process, but it's literally so in the tub and I don't want y'all to see that. I'm sorry. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I'm gonna be real. Okay, what's up, y'all? I'm back. So, I just dyed them. And I don't know if y'all can see them. Let me bring the light down. So, this is how it looks now. Hold on. And in the back. It sort of bleached through the hair as well. But it looks good to me, honestly. So. Okay, so I guess this is dry as it's going to be. I actually washed it with uh, this stuff my mom brings home is called green tea shampoo or con conditioning and shampoo and it's very very great let me see if i can show you Okay, so now I'm about to go into the weird process. So I'm gonna take these. Make sure it's stuck onto the table. Hold on. Make sure it's on there. I don't really feel like there was a long or hard press process like dyeing the hair and etc. It was actually quite fast because I noticed that it was bleaching through the hair. And I was like, well, let me go ahead and just stop now. But it bleached enough for me, actually. Okay. 
So now I'm going to just stick this on here. Hold on, let me just I'm sorry, I'm looking for my dome cap and it's the I got everything in bed, but I can't find a bed. Okay, you know what I mean? I'm having to get too far behind me. Okay, I'm the hell and now because i don't think i'm supposed to be cussing at him but i don't know what i did with it so i'm still gonna watch my next clip okay on top of my dress. I have no idea. You know, Kevin, too. Have you mm -mm. They're on the side, on this side. No mind, because I don't want you to turn to Answers, people. We need answers. The time is at the end. Her phone's gone in her purse. She ran away. She told her she was going to have to go on TV. She freaked out, and she ran away. I got to say, as crime scenes go, it's pretty clean. No broken locks, no signs of struggle, and I'm not fighting any of these things. Came up through the service elevator, picked the lock up, the back door, sedated her, taped her up, got her in a duffel bag, 
In and out, probably seven minutes or six if they were quick.
actually finished some of the closure off the camera. Because my phone had died. Big Brazo flaps. It's like a lot of pork. And I guarantee a heavy campaigning from you in New Jersey got midterms. There are only two away now. You know, the tenor is the How's that? Don't you think that's going to happen? No. Should I? A young woman died. A member of this administration. I said, I said. You didn't hear me? I'll say it again. How sad? Let's lower the flags. How did one innocent American, children, mommies and daddies and best friends and husbands and wives died in that plane crash yesterday? That's sad. We lost one of a few sane and worthy members of the Senate yesterday. That's sad. Four Navy SEALs died in Afghanistan. Uh, that doesn't even touch Sudan, Congo, northern Mexico. That's sad. But the disturbed girl who made it her life's mission to take down this administration, one who was happily no glee for me, carrying your illegitimate bastard child, she's no longer with us. Well, I'm sorry if I'm not saying she sure. I'm sorry I can't help but see the millions of people that will actually be able to help now that Amanda Tanner is gone. I am sorry. This is a good thing. It is a good thing for us. It's a good thing for the country. seeing his judgy face every morning. He's being restored. His judgy face got flaky. What's your preference? Madison or Van Buren? Van Buren has a certain wisdom about him. What's bothering you? I think we're going to pass the Dream Act. Cyrus is on it like a dog with a bone. You make all Sanchez is with him. Good. It needs to be passed. It's still just for the We're political animals. We're not animals. Sometimes I think he's too willing to go to extremes. Tom? Hal? You would take a bullet for the president, wouldn't you? Yes, ma'am. How? Yes, ma'am, I would. Thank you. That's all. There's a person in this building who isn't willing to go in the streets for you. You got it. You got it. Got what? Mechanic report. I got it. How'd you get it? I got it. I looked through 200 reports. Every inspection made in this plane last year. These are two separate reports. This one signed and dated by Mechanic and Phoenix last fall. This one signed and dated by Mechanic and Philly a week ago. The last inspection before the crash. No problems reported to me. That's bad for us, right? That means the plane was fine. How are controlling it? I'm saying. He misspelled control, but people must misspelled here too. What the chances? Identical reports. Different mechanics in different cities, months apart. The Philly reports say the last inspection of the plane before a crash was forged. I'm finna do the bed. Okay, y'all, so I actually got down with the 28. And I just braided it up. <clears throat> Let me turn my head down. So, oh, there we go. I was looking for this one. Okay, anyway. So then I'm done with that one. I'm actually about to start on the 26. This is actually not taking as long as I thought it would, but it is right now. But I'm not really, I don't really, I don't really have anything to do so. Now it's taking me, so now we're going on to the 26. And I didn't show you how thick or um, unthick the width was. I mean, the length of the hair was. So I'm going to show you that now. I do feel like it is a bit thin when it's coming down to the yeah. But they're not bad, honestly. It's not bad. 
cool. Yeah, I think I'm a fan of $200 when I did it. I don't know. So yeah, I'm on 26 now, just to make sure. This hair is literally the bomb. And it does not stink though. Don't know. Okay, I'm nail taking. So, no, no, I need to get this one inside the phone. I'm actually watching Scandalous while I'm, while I'm doing this week. I had to stop recording because I was like, damn, I don't want to see him keep watching. Do the same thing over and over and over. I was like, as I'm going to the next wheels, I'm mid length, I'm sorry, the next bundles, are, et cetera, I will start, start over. I actually don't like wearing clothes. I have other way to close for y'all. I know. So this is how y'all know I love y'all. And this is how much cone it is. I feel like it should be bigger. Not this big. We, you know, the center is a big. Like, that took two, two more wraps. They really want to make that But most of the time, if you know what you're doing when it comes down to um getting the hair on um, out then you, know, you will have some left over anyway it just if you do have some left over the thing that's most known for me to do is to go back to the back you know right here and then add more but you see the way i sewed it on i actually put it in the ponytail. i didn't mean to sew it like that but since i did oh wait and then i always pick up where you left off there's some things that some people forget to do. Like, they uh, forget about that one piece and then they actually throw the wig off it to make it look weird. So, yeah. And don't ever be afraid to, if you mess up, cut the, um, cut the, um, the, um, thread. I was finna call it a, a needle. Cut the needle and, I mean, cut the thread and start over. Don't ever feel like you can't do that because, again... Especially for new beginners, if you mess up, it's just a mess up. You can always start over. Especially most definitely when you're doing a week. But you see on this part right here, I need to pick up reds here. I don't want to say no. Hold on, because y'all like that. I ain't even sew it. I just take it up there. I mean, pinned it up there. I thought I sewed it. Let me set it down. I'm sorry. I sold it up and everything. But yeah, I'm finna figure out when I'm finna start it. And when I first looked at this closure for some reason, it looked so white. I hope it's not still bleaching, because but if it is, don't. I mean, it ain't no, nothing to be stressed about. I don't think if it is, if it did see a bleach and it bleached too much, just you know, um, go to the store, buy some black dye, dip it in there, boop, and then you do it. You could do jet black and blue. Oh shoot, that light! 
Squealy. I can bend it over back to you. Cause I've been waiting so long for a love like this. Cause it feels so strong. I'm losing my grip. But that be on my own. I'm gonna play on my own. I'm foolish. Mm -hmm. I'm choosing. Mm -hmm. It'd be hard to sleep with me to do that sometimes. So. I remember when I was first making weaves, I would make them on. Um, um, I was making my wigs on the styrofoam head. And when I used to take the wig caps off after making the wig, like probably making the wig, it used to be so much styrofoam inside the wig thing, inside the wig cap. And I used to be so angry about it. I'm like, how is this happening? And I always used to stick the needle. Because when I first used to do it, I used to stick the needle through the tracks then through the cap and it used to take so much longer but it is it was very secure don't get me wrong it was secure but it take way longer i was just like oh my god but yeah i used to make my weeds on the styrofoam here before i had got this one and like with that being said it used to be so much styrofoam inside the freaking weed cap and it would be like underneath the um it, it would be underneath where the wig, um, like where I had sewn it. So it would be underneath the thread and the wig cap. So I had to sit there and just personally pick it out. That's the only reason I used to be mad about it. But I was happy my first time making a wig. I made it on a broomstick. I promise you. I kid you not. It was on a broomstick with a staff on my head. My second time I made it, I think I did it the same way. On a broom with a staff on my head. No. I actually had a fan, if you know, like a little portable fan that you plug into the wall, and like it's real little. I had one of those, the ones that clamp onto stuff. And I had one of those, and somebody had actually broke the fan. I was mad about that because it was my granddad's fan. But I was like, why would y'all break my freaking fan? But it came in handy. The bottom part did. I took the part like it was like a stick up part like that, and then they had the clamp, and I used to clamp it up to the table. Then I wrapped a pair around the top part, bootleg, I know, and discussed them well, yeah. And then I stuck the styrofoam head onto it, and it used to stay just like this one would. That was my version of, um, a, he a um, mannequin head. And previously, I was thinking about, um, doing, like, making my own mannequin here because i didn't have one of my own so i was like let me make one i feel like this video gonna be so freaking long this is really why i need my laptop i have one but i edit on my phone and at night i usually edit late at night when i'm bored i'm like oh let me go ahead and edit this video let me go ahead and post this video real quick And then I was like, I know I ordered some hair, so might as well go ahead and um, do a video on it because I haven't posted anything since like Christmas, I think, or New Year's, I forgot. I make a lot of videos, just so y'all know. I just don't have, like, I just forget either to post them or I don't like the way they edit it. I feel like I don't finish them or they don't have enough time after you edit because editing, like, you cut off a lot because you got to, like, say, for instance, if I speed this part up, then it cuts off, like, five minutes off of me speed, just speeding it up. So.
my thing. The only perks, I mean, well, the perks about this one is when you move it, like, it literally moves for you or leans away from you when you need it to. I love that about this. Like, it, it's one of the best inventions ever. And then, not only that is, I actually got this on 50, on a 50% off sale at a local beauty trends by my house. It literally was like $13 with the head included. It was really good. They were so out of the sticks. So I was like, okay, I might as well get the head. And something, you know. And that's what he gave me, the head and this. And this was like $4. And this was, I think, the, the thing that was the most weight. It was actually a good invention. I mean, uh, it was a good investment for me. And this is actually the straight needle with the hook at the end. I'm going to show y'all how to look. Um, yeah, see how my belly. Okay, anyway.
What's up, you guys? I'm back. Okay, I don't know why I keep introducing myself when I said it. So, this is the finishing touch of me. I probably put a picture of it in here on the video. But right now, I'm just one curling it. And I had to add some red in here from my previous hair I had because it wasn't like thick enough for me. I like the detail. It wasn't thick enough, so I had to add some red too. I'm about to take some pictures, so Lele Squad is out. I look rough, y'all. I'm sorry, but I'm out. <laughs>